some of the reforms put in place in Japan and how the investment opportunity has changed. Mm -hmm. You say you're investing for the long haul. Yep. What sort of long-term returns do you see from investing in equities in Japan? Well, I think historically uh, equities have returned anywhere between 6% and 10%. So uh, if we're really thinking long term, then that's the kind of range we're looking at. You view uh, stock picking as a value investor, if you will. You look at some of the disciplines that uh, famous value investors mm -hmm. use. What are you looking at now in terms of the companies you're picking? Give me a couple of examples of how they fit the bill for you. Sure. Um, well, we say value investment, but I think uh, value investment can be defined in many different ways. Um, our, our way of value investing is really we look for growth opportunities and we buy them at attractive, um, attractive price. Um, in terms of um, sector preference, um, we think that, uh, just an example, personal care goods is one area where, where Japan can continue to have strong appeal to um, Asian consumers, um, whether it's cosmetics or, or, or others. Um, the other area is factory automation, like industrial robots or factory automation sensor, where Japan has been historically um, uh, global leader. So those are the kind of areas that we are uh, actively looking at. And give me an idea of a specific name or two. You know, so. Um, sure. So um, Kians is one of our largest holdings at the moment. Um, it has, uh, what it does is it's a uh, um, customized uh, factory automation sensor uh, developer as well as a producer. Um, they are um, a pioneer in this field and um, they have uh, direct sales channel strategy, which is very difficult to replicate. And because it's, you don't want any outsider walking around your production site. And Kians is the only company that has that channel. Um, it has, because of that, it has super high op operating margins of more than 45%. And it has uh, extremely cash rich balance sheet. So Kians is one of our favorite uh, pick. At the, at the moment. Within your fund, you've actually raised your cash position compared to where you were at the end of last year. Uh, why did you decide to increase uh, cash as opposed to equities right now? I didn't raise cash by selling the existing holdings. Uh, thankfully, we've been seeing some inflows mm -hmm. into the fund. Um, because we are, are we're very we have a very disciplined approach where our uh, investment is very price sensitive. And we only want to put our money to work when there is attractive investment opportunities, i.e. attractive prices. Um, so it's a cash position is just a result of what we see, what kind of opportunities we're seeing in the marketplace right now.